Normally, I hate convertibles. Why would you take a perfectly good car and cut the roof off? It makes no sense. Their structural flaccidity and elevated curb weights annoy me, plus all of the glare. Well, it ravages my delicate green eyes. But as you know, there's an exception to every rule. Dawn. The sun is rising again at Rolls-Royce. This ultra-luxury drop top is model number four in the British brand's current lineup and the only one with a retractable roof. It may be in the technological vanguard, but this car is also rooted in tradition, combining the best of the past with 21st century innovation. The Dawn's transmission uses GPS data to help select the right gear, yet all of its wood, leather, and metal furnishings are genuine. Old-school rear-hinged coach doors are complemented by a cutting-edge twin turbocharged engine. The infotainment system features handwriting recognition, yet the spirit of ecstasy still adorns its prow, the brand's official emblem since 1911. Old meets new, leading-edge tradition. Mechanically, Dawn is closely related to the Wraith, which is essentially a coupe version of the Ghost sedan that is, of course, based off of the 7 Series BMW. But enough automotive genealogy, because what counts here is that 80% of the Dawn's body panels are unique, even if it is unmistakably a Rolls-Royce, with that upright grille, dazzling accents, and in this case, optional 21-inch wheels. Also, you've got to love that slightly tapered rear end that recalls boat-tailed cars from decades past. But styling isn't the only telltale sign that this is something special. Its sheer size gives it incredible presence as well. At more than 17 feet long, with a wheelbase exceeding 10, the Dawn is huge for a car, especially a convertible. Those outsized dimensions might make parallel parking a challenge, but they do provide ample interior space, enough room to seat four adults in total luxury while carrying up to 10.4 cubic feet of luggage in the trunk. A bigger boot might be nice. But it would make that power top tricky to package, and let's be honest, it's sort of the car's main attraction. Rather than fitting the Dawn with a folding metal lid, engineers opted instead to go with a traditional fabric arrangement comprised of six different layers with extensive sound deadening. It supposedly makes this the quietest convertible car ever built with an interior that's as silent as the Wraith's. Now, if you want some fun in the sun, it can be tucked away in around 20 seconds at speeds up to 31 miles an hour. When it comes to speed, the Dawn is breezed along by a gargantuan 6.6-liter V12. Forced induction helps it deliver 563 horsepower. Now, that's not an insane amount of oomph, less than you'd probably expect from an engine of this capacity, but it's still plenty. Matched to a ZF 8-speed automatic, it can get you to 60 in as little as 4.8 seconds. Top speed is 155 miles an hour. Curious about fuel economy? Well, you really shouldn't be. Still, the Dawn stickers at 12 miles per gallon city and 19 highway. Rolls-Royce refers to them as coach doors, but I still prefer the decidedly old school and un-PC term suicide doors. But either way, these things are still one of my favorite attributes of this already over-the-top convertible. They're incredibly substantial when you open them, and they swing so wide, giving you great access to either the front or rear seats. And once you are comfortably sitting down inside the Dawn to keep you from dislocating your shoulder trying to close them, there are a couple buttons right up here that you can press that allows them to motor shut all on their own. And once inside, you're swaddled in absolute, unabashed luxury. Every surface and switch, dial and detail has been polished to blinding perfection. 
the push-pull ventilation controls bring to mind the cockpit of an aircraft from the 1930s. There's a stubby, column-mounted gear selector. It falls perfectly to hand and operates with surgical slickness. Umbrellas are cleverly concealed in the door jams, each one probably costing more than I make in a year. The book-matched, open-pour wood trim is nothing short of radiant, while these optional lamb's wool floor mats feel deeper than the Marianas Trench and softer than freshly fallen snow. Practically every surface that's not trimmed in glass or wood features creamy soft leather, hand-selected hides that are the best found on planet Earth, well, at least according to Rolls-Royce. Passengers relegated to business class rather than first will have little to complain about. I've got plenty of leg and headroom when the top is up, plus there are separate climate controls here. Would you look at that? It does heat too. <laughs> Back up front, the Spirit of Ecstasy rotary controller with integrated touchpad provides access to the Dawn's infotainment system, which is fairly straightforward, though there are a lot of menus to go through. The user interface is displayed on a bright 10 and a quarter inch screen that can be hidden behind a power-operated shade, one that's naturally trimmed in matching wood. Dawn is probably the most serene, effortless feeling vehicle that I've ever driven any significant distance. Despite the drop top, there are zero jiggles or judders to be felt. The structure is tighter than an in-tune piano wire. And after all, it is the most rigid four-seat convertible available on the market today. Ride quality is simply stunning. This car smoothly glides over even the worst Midwestern roads like an Olympic figure skater on fresh ice. And Nancy Kerrigan ain't got nothing on the dawn here. I mean, after all, wasn't she only a silver medalist? This thing would definitely, definitely take the platinum, unquestionably. Acceleration is muscle car-esque, yet totally placid at the same time. The dawn rips when you punch it, Yet the engine produces no sound, much less any vibration. It's smoother than silken underwear. Don't ask me how I know that. Ditto for the transmission, which changes gears without me even noticing. It's all just incredibly refined. As for steering, well, it's far too light and vague for my taste. I mean, look at all of that slop. There's a lot of it there. Plus the rim's cross-sectional diameter it's pretty small, which means there's nothing to really grab onto when you're driving this car. Now, in lieu of a traditional tachometer, you do get a power reserve percentage meter, which is an amusing little touch. But as for the rest of the gauges, they're pretty small and of low contrast, which can make them difficult to read in certain lighting conditions. I'm not necessarily a fan of that. Also, the brake pedal, it requires a bit more pressure to bring things to a halt than I would like, but overall, these are pretty minor complaints. It's easy to write a glowing review about a car like this. I mean, it's an absolutely astounding piece of work, and it's priced accordingly. So how much does this particular Dawn cost? Well, let's take a look-see here at the window sticker, shall we? Base MSRP was, gulp, $341,125. Add the price of a new EcoBoost Mustang for the Dawn Package USA, $2,775 for 21-inch forged 10-spoke wheels, five grand for some interior stuff, $2,725 for ventilated front seats. Why they charge extra for this is beyond me. $4,200 for contrast stitching, a navy blue steering wheel for an extra $1,550, full wood paneling costs twenty-one dollars and change, and those wool floor mats were $1,400. Add destination and delivery charges, as well as the gas guzzler tax, and that brings us to the grand total of... $413,030. That's a f ton of money. And truth be told, it's probably not worth it. Still, the 2017 Rolls-Royce Dawn is hard to fault. This car excels at so many things. For starters, its interior is sumptuous, while the ride and drivetrain are silken. It's fast, lavishly built, and loaded with clever touches. Downsides are minor, centering on the light steering feel, wispy tiller, and almost complete lack of driver assistance technology. Also, I think there's too much glittery chrome inside, and at this price, cooled seats should be standard. 
At first glance, you know the Dawn is something special. It has presence and panache. Despite my bias, I would absolutely have one over some exotic supercar, even if it is a convertible. You don't have that gentle touch it takes to make it right. Look at all the steps we go through to bring you the finest of the quality. That's what people don't appreciate. There's no appreciation. They don't understand. I'm gonna tell you I am swiffer in the out of this car to make sure it's done right. Because quality means doing it right, even when nobody's looking. We got a lot of dust in here today from driving the top down, but that's worth it. A little dust and never hurt anyone unless you've got crippling allergies like me, well then, what are you gonna do?